find a good book. I hope. Oh, this is one thing about November. I I love and I hate. So when it gets darker earlier, because I can like set up the mood, do the whole thing, but also I'm losing natural daylight. And especially when I'm the type of person to start doing something a lot later than I wanted to do. So for example, this whole video, I was supposed to start at the beginning of the day when I had loads of daylight, but now, I'm doing it when it's 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 gloomy and it's the sun's going down like it's sunset why do I do this to myself and also my whole room is packed up so I can't even put on nice candles because I have no candles in here that's a nice car though that's the car I want can I afford it no anyway <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ailey, and if you are not, then hello, it is good to see you again. I'm in a slump. I'm in a big, old, tragic, depressing slump. Guys, I kid you not, it is, it's so bad. Like, so bad, to the point where I feel like I'm having to force myself to read. And I am just, it's when you completely lose the whole of the motivation for like, everything that that is to do with books like I have not want to go book shopping I've not want to start a new book I've not want to like what I've not wanted to have to think about anything that is to do with books and reading that's how bad of a slump I am because whenever I think of something like that I get really guilty for not reading and not picking up a book so I've been doing every other possible thing I can do to like run away from it um <laughs> that's about to change because here we are I'm filming this video over this weekend to get me out of the slump so this morning I've been trying to film my autumn reading vlog which hopefully is coming out before this but you can 100% see in that video of me like struggling to get through books like struggling to just pick up a book and read it and give it a go. I feel as if if I've actually read the same amount of books that I would usually read, most of those would all be DNF'd. Like they would all be DNF'd and I could like never probably pick up that book again. Cause unlikely if I'm if I've DNF'd something, usually I'll say right, I'll try it again, I'll pick it up, but I never do. I've done that so many times to actual good works. I wish I just got through and finished. But because I was in a slump, I just stopped reading it and then read something else and then stopped reading that thing and then read something else. And then, you know, it's been a whole thing. But then I've gone through three weeks where I haven't read anything. And now doing reading vlogs and having to film. Guys, it's just got so hard. It's got so hard. And so we're here. We are here. And also the realisation that I now have audiobooks. Even a bigger thing. I was talking about that in... Um, I think this is going to be coming out after it. Not quite. It's coming out a week after my autumn reading. But if you have read the autumn reading, reading vlog, you will have probably heard my story of how I discovered that I'm paying for Spotify premium instead of the student premium which meant I had access to 15 hours of audiobooks a month. I think that's how it is. Um, So I started doing that out today and actually I've been in a slump with this book you're currently resting on, Survive the Night, and I don't think reading a thriller which is something that I am not really into don't really like has helped my slump but reading it on well not reading it listening to it I think has helped because I could just let it play but I do think that because the chapters are like some are long some are short um is a good and a bad thing but yeah anyway I'm gonna try and get out of a slump and find my love for reading again over this weekend I have meant to film this this week and actually do a week but um that did not happen so i'm doing it for the weekend maybe we will drag it out for longer i don't know uh but yeah i'm giving myself the weekend so tonight we're probably gonna have like a very chill maybe we're gonna entwine i've realized i need to not just 
force myself but like entwine it into something so we might watch a movie tonight and then do some late night reading and not really worry about much and then tomorrow we're having a whole reading day as well so we're gonna try and get through that because then we're going out in the evening so hopefully that will make me be like right we got to read today and get it done um and then sunday again we're out sunday morning but then we have the whole of the afternoon to read so we're pretty much having a reading weekend of trying to get out this lump anyway i'm gonna shut up because i think i'm just waffling on now and we're gonna we're actually now gonna do it so let's let's go okay cool <laughs> i don't know why i keep thinking that i've filmed more than i have i haven't i've just first off i'm out focus i've just looked at the sd card and i've only filmed my intro like excuse me it's been a couple of days and i just kind of want to give an update of where i am on my slump because i still do think i'm in a slump but not as much as when I like first started this video because I have I have been filming other reading vlogs in which these two books. So this one I'm still currently listening to the audiobook. I think I've only got like an hour, maybe just over an hour left. And this one I've been reading on my Kindle, which again, I only think I've just maybe got two hours left. I'm about 50% through. So I'm determined to get these two done out and then we're gonna do a reread of a new series, again for another reading vlog, but I'm hoping that series will bring me out of this slump once and for all, to the point where I just wanna read. I wanna get into the mindset of I don't wanna do anything and I just wanna read. And I think like having meh books. Oh, hello. Are you gonna come say hello? Come here, Pete. Come here. Oh. Are you gonna lie down there? Okay, reckon. No, 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 don't lie back. Oh god, oh god, right. Jesus, what? He's like, you never sit here. Okay, Jesus, what? Reckon, come up here. Stop sniffing everywhere. Okay, lie down here. Come on. There you go, lie down. Lie down, lie down. <laughs> lie down. Nala, come here as well. Come up here. No, she's not coming up. Anyway, I've just been reading such meh books. Like these are the three that I read I read for my last reading vlog and they've all been meh. And I cannot tell you what other books I have read. It's been that long. The only book I know that I read, which I think was actually before this, was Daydream. And I need something like that or something like Akhtar or Fourth Wing or whatnot. But I did some ordering and I'm hoping that oh <laughs> this one gets me out of my slump i really 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 want to read this book because i loved throne of the fallen and this is the next one in the series it's about gluttony and i'm like i want to read this like i want to i want to get through this this book but what not better way of getting out of the slump by buying a brand new bag um so yeah we need to Finish the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. We need to finish the audiobook of Survive the Night. Try and read this book, but also try and do a reread of The Cruel Prince. Ah, I'm actually excited for that one. And I'm hoping once we get those books done, that this slump will be gone. We can say bye bye slump. That has been tormenting me for ages. Okay, now let's start this video. <laughs> of the book but I have been in and out reading all day. I actually finished Survive the Night on audio book which I'm taking that as a win. Oh as I'm here I need to put that on my Goodreads actually. I th oh, I'm like still deciding on, 
on a rating for it though because I just don't really know if I enjoyed it like knowing the ending and how it all went I don't know if it was like worth it I generally don't think I'm gonna think about it I probably know the rating I'm actually gonna put it but I just feel bad because I don't want to rate it that but it's gonna be rated that I'm gonna give it a two star wow this is really bright I'm only gonna give it a two because no I can't I can't what was it called survive the night it just wasn't for me the whole the whole thing of how like how it was wrapped up I don't even know how to describe what I was feeling towards this book because all throughout it I was questioning myself if I should carry on reading it and should, if I should not and I tried to excuse that with saying I was in a slump but I think even if I wasn't in a slump this book would have put me in a slump because I wasn't enjoying it because it just wasn't it just wasn't it it just wasn't it didn't engage me I wasn't rooted for the characters I really didn't care about the characters and then the actual end of the book well not even the end of the book the epilogue I was like what what the hell like it wasn't for me so probably a book I'm not gonna recommend I'm not gonna think about but at least I finished that and I didn't think was terrible I mean I still have the winter children as a one star and it wasn't as bad as that book. I wasn't actually physically disturbed by the book where that one I was and I should DNF that but I think moral of the story is with Survive the Night. Um, if my gut's telling me to DNF, I'm DNFing now. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I'm now 50% through the Pumpkin Spice Cafe and I'm actually enjoying it. I think it's, a, it's, a, it's quite an easy read. I'm on chapter 19 so let me quickly put that in the book it's 20 well how did i go past it there is so i'm on page 197 and i've only got this 20 oh 30 <laughs> there's 32 chapters all together i think i'm gonna finish it tonight because i'm reading it on my kindle and it's just much easier to read it on this and it's only saying that i've got an hour and a half left of the book so i'm probably gonna sit down for an hour and a half and try and finish the book because Survive the Night and the Pumpkin Spice Cafe I'm just I've been reading for days and I usually don't read for this an amount of days of books I'm quite good at finishing books within like two to three days it doesn't take me over a week to finish a book so that's annoying and I really want to read I really want to do the reread because it's just staring at me and I want to read those books and then get on to read what's what's the book called throne of secrets something like that because i ordered that and i got it delivered on the day it was released and i completely forgot that that was happening anyway but yeah i'm halfway through the pumpkin spice cafe and you know it's kind of it's just like your typical romance book like we're having the character development thing i don't know i don't know if i'm really connecting to the book like i usually would like for example in the chestnut spring series i freaking love those books like i love the characters i was reading for the characters but in this i'm just i'm not i'm just enjoying having a romance and reading a romance but it's not like it's not my favorite thing in the world so i think it is sitting at like a three star I'm just trying to get out of this slump obviously. I'm trying so hard but yeah. Let me just read the back to you because I bet you this will just sum it up. It says when Janine's aunt, oh yeah Janine's aunt didn't die. I don't know why I thought she died. She didn't. Um, when Janine's aunt gives her the beloved pumpkin spice cafe in the small town of Dream Harbor, Janine jumps at the chance for a fresh start away from her very dull desk job. Fair enough. Do you know what? I would too. Logan is a local farmer who avoids Dream Harbour's gossip at all costs, but Janine arrives. Wait, but Janine's arrival disturbs Logan's routine, and he wants nothing to do with the irritatingly upbeat new girl, except that he finds himself in habits in. Oh, accepts that he finds himself incapably. Oh, in ex. In ex lickably drawn to her is that the right word i don't know why do they have such words on the back of the book 
It's like, no, don't do that to me. I'm already in a slump. Okay. Will Janine's happy-go-lucky attitude win over the grumpy but gorgeous Logan? Or has this city girl found the one person in town who won't fall for her charm or her pumpkin spice lattes? I don't know what it is about the word gorgeous, but I hate it. I just don't like the word gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gives me the ick. I just don't, I don't like it. Don't say it to me. And I don't like the word moist, but I would quite happily take the word moist over gorgeous. So weird. Anyway, I want there something to be like, something deeper in the book. You know, I just, I want there to be something that's, I don't know, I feel like this book can be very surface level. Like it has been very surface level at the moment. And I just kind of want to like dive into it, you know? I need to read a fantasy. I need to read a fantasy. But we'll finish this first so I can put it to the side and say that I've read it. Because at the moment it's still winning compared to Survive the Night. So yeah. But it's just very you know what even that it's just you know? We'll see how it goes. Let's carry on reading. the book now let's talk about this because i'm also very curious of what is in the back of this book because there was loads of like recommendation stuff no there's not it's just on kindle anyway um finished it i think i'm only gonna give it i don't know what i'm gonna rate this honestly because the whole of this book happened in one month and i feel like i missed the whole of the middle. I don't know, you know, I, I just, I don't know how to explain it. Oh, I think I'm gonna give it a two because, mm, oh, I don't know, I think 2.5, 2.75, like almost a three. It was almost a th three. Just because I think this book had so much potential, like so much potential, but I wasn't rooting for the characters. I wasn't really into the plot. I don't know what the plot was. I couldn't tell you what the plot was because there were so many other like weird things going on. And then it kind of felt like it was going up and down, but because it was like very surface level, didn't really go very deep, wasn't like loads going on. It was just like little, do you know what I mean? It kind of felt like that. And I was getting lost in some bits and I don't actually think I was reading it properly. I was doing a lot of skimming because I wasn't, I wasn't connected, I wasn't interested, I was just trying to get through the book, you know? So that might partly be on me as well, why I think I've missed things, but it was easy, it was like quick and fun, but it was just very, meh. It was like, not very realistic and such. In like romance books, I do want that realism of it. And it, this book all happened in a month and I think it could have gone a lot deeper, like a lot more could have happened in it just like deeper into the characters it just could have gone deeper that's basically what i'm trying to say i don't really know what else to say <laughs> this book hasn't it's helped me get out of the slump i think well i'm getting that out of the slump because even though this book wasn't great and this wasn't perfect i'm still wanting to read like i'm still motivated to keep on reading like i'm not now in a oh, I don't know what else to read, phase. I'm in a, okay, this is done. Let's try another one. Let's keep going. Let's find a good book. I'm on a mission to find a good book. The only time I would probably recommend this book is if you're wanting something easy and autumn-y vibes. But this isn't going to be my, I enjoyed it, would recommend it. I wasn't like that. It was, it was a meh, which is a two. So yeah, didn't hate it, but didn't 
love love it if i dnf'd it i wouldn't have really felt anything that's my sum up <laughs> anyway i am now and this is what i'm excited for so you know how i was saying i'm doing a reread and i also want to read fantasy right bear with hold on i'm gonna reread the cruel prince series <gasps> i'm so excited i'm I just kind of want to dive straight into this book again because it was just so good. Like this was one of the first fantasy books that I read when I first got into reading in lockdown, which was four years ago. I'm hoping this book will get me out of the slump. So I'm gonna try and sit down and start reading this book right now. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to dive back into this world. Let's go. coming out of the slump now because all I want to do is sit and read and and finish this book. I'm not going to finish this book tonight because I also need to realise that I cannot stay up for too long or I will feel really really stupid tomorrow. Like I will regret it so much if I stay up and try and finish this. Even though my Kindle's saying that it will take Maybe roughly just over an hour. I'm still not convinced. And I realise you can see my address. Ah! Let's move you over here. I currently have the dogs on my bed, which is a little bit frustrating because I can't sit in my usual spot and read, so I'm gonna need to move them. But I'm I think I'm doing well. I tried doing the audiobook to this. I didn't really like it and I don't know if it was because of the speed or because of the just the American accent. I don't know what it was but I just didn't like listening to this. I prefer actually reading this. So I think it's coming like worst case scenario if I can't read what I really want to read but I need to get work done then I will put the audiobook on but if I can read then I won't. Like I'm doing right now. I finally got to the main like bit of this book because I think uh, this book is mainly like build up and build up to the second one which has all of the stuff that I love. Even though this one still has like some really good elements in it like loads of tropes I love that are in this and Cardin and uh, Jude are really enemying that is not a word but you know what I mean in this. I love it but also I feel so good as well getting back into the reading habit. I am so far behind on my Goodreads. Let me see if I can find her. I probably need to film a video trying to catch up on my Goodreads because I am, give me a minute, nine books behind schedule and I'm out of focus. Yay. This is having such a hard time. There we go. I can't believe I'm nine books behind schedule already. Oh. This is so bad. But hopefully I get to read these, this series. So that's three books. Anyways, I'm gonna try and read seven in like a week again. I've done that once before. And that's when I was on a really, really good reading grime. But to be fair, what I've got planned, I think will help. Anyway, I'm gonna film this video for one more day. One more day trying to get me out of the slump because tomorrow is Sunday. And I'm hoping that going into Monday, I will be back to my usual reading self where I feel good reading, that I don't need to motivate myself too hard because I still need to motivate myself to actually read. Like that doesn't go away ever. I still need to be like where I need to pick up this book, but sometimes it's a lot easier when I'm reading an actual book that I want to read. For example, this one, and I know especially when I get onto the second one. So I'm gonna talk to you in the morning We'll do a little bit more reading. We'll probably try and find a new audiobook to listen to while I'm editing because I'm definitely not going to be listening to this one. We'll listen to something else. But yeah, I don't know what though because like I kind of want to read it at the same time or like at least have the book, you know. Anyway. <laughs>
Anyway, let's talk, let's chat. Um, I've probably been filming this for a couple of days now. We've read different kinds of books. Like I finished off my audiobook. We finished off The Pumpkin Spice Cafe, The Cruel Prince, and now I'm reading The Wicked King. All for different videos, by the way. They've kind of all overlapped now, but that doesn't matter. Anyway, I think it's safe to say that I'm finally out of my slump. Oh, it's so good to be able to say that because I'm supposed to be going out now for a bit. And granted, I did say yes. And granted, it's a last minute thing and I could have said no. But I'm going out and all I want to do is sit down and actually devour this book because I know I will enjoy it. So I think what I needed for a slump is definitely not to sit on this squeaky ass chat, but <laughs> it's to reread my favourite books and especially the ones that I haven't read in a while so that it feels like I'm reading it for the first time. Again, that has definitely helped. So take this as a sign. If you're in a slump, reread one of your favourite books, like pick it up again. Like somebody, the author probably took a very long time to write this book. So the least we can do is read it more than once. Another. That's what I'm doing with this book. Anyway, I'm actually gonna finish this video here. I was thinking about extending it for a little bit longer and seeing how I'm doing, but I've just started filming a video of me seeing how many pages I can read in a week, which is to come, get ready for that. Well, how many pages I read in a day for a week. Let me just clarify that. And so I think I'm gonna lead from this and this here and start that one and see if my slump is truly over because I feel confident that I feel like I'm back in my my game back in my mood back in my let's hammer all these books out because we're getting to the end of the year and I still need to get my reading goal like I said I was going to read 80 books this year I still believe I can do that I just can't get in another slump I can't get in another slump but I think we're out of it I think we're out. I think we're, I think we're out of it. I hope. I pray. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling on, and you guys better be ready for the reading vlogs for the cruel prince because hopefully they don't disappoint. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I am gonna end it here. I promise guys I'm ending it here. And I hope that if you are watching this and you are in a slump and you're hoping that you could get out of the slump, then I'm hoping this video has helped you. But yeah, I will see you all in the next one. I feel like I have something else to say, but I don't know what else to say. Do you get like that? Do I, is that just me? Maybe it's just me. Anyway, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Peace, goodbye.